Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Residence Chemistry. Now we are discussed another important lecture in palladium catalyzer in UCC single bond formation reactions. In this lecture, we are discussing about uh, the Suji Trost reaction here, which is a palladium catalyzed allylic substitution reaction. Palladium catalyzed allylic substitution reaction. It is very important lecture for CSIR net or GATE exams. If you watch the video until ending, definitely you will get the benefit of a uh, uh, CSAR as well as gate gate questions. Okay, so now let us start the lecture on Suji Trust reaction. So in previous cases we are discussed so many palladium catalyzer reactions, but in this case we are discussed about a uh, allylic substitution. In previous cases we are uh, like uh, alkyl halide or triflates with treated with different different types of boron. Boron it is called Suzuki silicon is called Hiyama. Like uh, such type of reactions, uh, zinc it is nickelation, tin it is uh, still uh, such type of reaction. Now in this lecture. We are discussed the allylic substitution uh, like with any uh, nucleophile, allylic substitution with a nucleophile. So this is the simplest representation of the Suji Trost reaction. It is allyl halide, allyl halide. So in the presence of uh, like a palladium PPH3 four times, uh, many of the times uh, which is uh, we will take the palladium complexes here it is only. So which is getting from palladium OAC. In presence of PPH3, we will get the palladium PPH3 four times. So, the here the excess of PPH3 equivalents. Okay, now here allylic halide treated with palladium PPH3 O4. So, here the base, sorry, here it is the nucleophile. Now, it uh, substituted the nucleophile, it substituted the nucleophile. These type of reactions are called Suji Trust reaction. These type of reactions are called Suji Trust reaction. And now here it is pro the problem of the Suji Trust reaction is here it creates the allylic cation. So definitely here it is the not only halogen here uh, before going to that before going to the problem now we are discussing those terms. Now here X is equal to leaving group. Okay, now here X is equal to leaving group. Uh, uh, the best leaving group is OAC. Now we are used in the this type of reagents OAC, OCO ethyl, okay, O phenyl, like a O phosphorus, double bond O, like O ethyl, O ethyl, or any, any type of O methyl, doesn't matter. These type of groups are the leaving groups which in Suji Trost reaction. Suji Trost reaction. Now the nucleophiles. So generally, like uh, uh, anions of uh, nitromethane, nitromethane, like phenols, amines, okay, malonate compounds, malonate, like uh, malonate anions. Okay, so these are the best examples for the nucleophiles in Suji Trost reaction. Now, however, uh, whatever the reaction pathway here, the uh, Suji Trost reaction problem is both regio and stereo selective it is both regio and stereo selective okay now here it creates the allylic anion allylic cation sorry so now here the nucleophile it may be attack over the like a uh, where it is the lived or it may be attack at the allylic position it attack the allylic that is a double bond position here it is the two types of possibilities now we know that uh, so a leaving group position is a uh, uh, nothing but SN2 reaction whenever the double bond position is nothing but SN2 prime reaction SN2 prime reaction now here the regio selectivity uh, is classed by, uh, like a, uh, it is a deviated uh, from the like uh, this type of SN2 versus uh, SN2 prime that is the first case okay now in case of the stereo selectivity so here the uh, the main problem of a Suji Trost reaction malonate western uh, esters will use the uh, good yield but uh, here, uh, this is the Suji Trost was classified the nucleophiles as two types. One is the soft nucleophiles, another one is the hard nucleophiles. So soft nucleophiles are PKA is less than 25. PKA is less than 25. If it is more than 25, then it is a hard basis. So soft nucleophiles will give the a good percentage of yield in a Suji Trost reaction. So all these are the soft nucleophiles. All these are the soft nucleophiles. Among them, so malonate esters is very strong, very like a soft nucleophiles. Very very effectively, it gives the more more and more percentage of yields. So this is the like a overall introduction regarding to the Suji Trost reaction. Now we will discuss the first of all. The catalytical mechanism then after we will discuss the regio and stereo selectivity finally we will deal with uh, some of the problems now let us go through the catalytical mechanism
Okay, now let us discuss the Tolman cyclization uh, uh, mechanical pathway of the Suzy Trost reaction. Now, here it is the palladium L4. Okay, now here the, after uh, we used the, some of the ligand dissociation mechanism, so we will get the palladium L2. So, then, so the association of a allylic substrate. Now here the allylic substrate that means here the pi bonded electrons will associated with our palladium catalyst. Palladium catalyst. This is the association mechanism. So then after, so the ligand electrons, the ligand palladium electrons will attack over the allylic position. Then it eliminates the x minus. It is eliminated as a x minus. Now here it forms the like a these three carbons which are shared with a palladium metal atom so if one carbon atom will share the palladium metal atom then it is called eta one complexes here if it is a two carbon atoms eta two now here it forms the three carbon atoms that means it is the eta three complex eta three allyl complex eta three allyl complex now here it is l here it is l so x eliminated as x minus x eliminated as x minus now here uh, it, it is attacked by the x so here it is also represent like this palladium l l here it is the x here it is the here it is the plus here it is the x minus this is simply eta 3 l l cation complex l l cation complex okay then after the, the addition of a nucleophile at the allylic position now it becomes like this okay now it becomes like this this is the palladium L2 complex. So finally, we will get the product uh, with the like uh, elimination. That is uh, over here. It is association here oxidative insertion, oxidative insertion. Now here it is the like a uh, removal. That is a dissociation mechanism. That is a dissociation mechanism. We will get the nucleophile. We will get the nucleophile again. Our catalyst will be regenerated. Our catalyst will be regenerated. This is the simplest uh, reaction mechanism about a uh, Suzy Trost reaction. Suzy Trost reaction. Now let us discuss the, those uh, ratio on the stereo selectivity of a uh, Suzy Trost reaction. Now we will we will discuss the regio selectivity of Suzy Trost reaction. So here it is the regio selectivity. The problem number one is regio selectivity. So now here it may be like this. This is the chlorine. Okay. Now here any nucleophile will attack over the same uh, like a uh, same position of the leaving group. Uh, then it follows uh, the nucleophile. That means here it is the above the plane. The nucleophile attack uh, uh, of the below the plane. Here opposite plane. That means product is inversion product. That means product is inversion. So inversion product type reactions are called SN2 type reaction. SN2 type reaction. So now instead of that, we will take the uh, reaction nucleophile. So here the, before the nucleophilic attack, uh, here it undergoes the like the elimination and it creates the allylic cation. So these cation will undergoes the like a resonating form. Now our uh, nucleophile will attack over the like a uh, double bond position or the leaving group position. Now it gives the product like this. Here it is the nucleophile. So here the opposite configuration which is nothing but inversion that is SN2 reaction. Now here these type of reactions are called SN2 prime reaction. SN2 prime reaction. Here it is the SN2 reaction. Okay. Now the regio selectivity of Suzy Trost reaction compared with them like a SN2 prime as well as SN2. Okay. Now here it is a, like a kinetic controlled reaction. Kinetic controlled reaction. So, however, the uh, regio selectivity of a uh, Suzy Trost reaction, many of the reaction with uh, our like uh, our nucleophiles will follow the SN2 mechanism due to the like a uh, same type of the stereochemistry that is a uh, uh, retention of the stereochemistry. We will discuss the stereochemical aspect. Now, here regio selectivity. So, that regio selectivity also again it depends upon the sterically. Now here the nucleophilic attack will favors the nucleophilic attack will favors the sterically less crowded side. Sterically less crowded side. So this is the regio selectivity of a, uh, like our Suji Trost reaction. Now here it is SN2, here it is SN2 prime. Among these two, our uh, our Suji Trost reaction will favors the sterically less crowded side attack of the nucleophile. Okay, now this uh, stereochemistry of the uh, like uh, our Suji Trost reaction.
Okay, now the second, it is a stereospecific also. Now the stereochemical aspect of this is the Trost reaction. Now here, it is the like a l -like group. Now let us discuss. This is the like a l -like group. Here it is the leaving position OAC. OAC. So now here in the presence of palladium complex LN. Now here firstly it is coordinated with palladium complex. Here the opposite plane of the palladium. Opposite plane of the palladium. Why? Because sorry opposite plane of the leaving group. Our palladium will attack the opposite plane of the like leaving group. So here leaving group is above the plane. Our, our uh, palladium will attack the opposite plane. That means below the plane of attack. Below the plane of attack. However the nucleophile nature now here the nucleophiles are classified two types one is a soft as well as a hot nucleophiles according to the situation reaction now however the soft nucleophiles will attack over the like a uh, here the soft nucleophiles will attack opposite plane of the palladium opposite plane of the palladium how it is uh, attacked so now here the presence of a palladium uh, will attack over there then it, it creates the this type of complex that is eta 3 complex eta 3 complex now the eta 3 complex here the nucleophile attack here palladium is below the plane we know that startingly palladium attack the below the plane now our nucleophile attack the opposite plane of the palladium opposite plane of the palladium now we will get the product like this okay palladium is the below the plane now our nucleophile attack the above the plane okay now here the nucleophile atop the above the plane which is opposite to the palladium okay overall here the new leaving group of leaving group above the plane so now palladium attack below the plane that is called inversion of the configuration inversion of the configuration now here palladium is the below the plane but a nucleophile attacking is the above the plane it is also inversion it is also inversion now here one sn2 reaction here one another sn2 reaction the uh, even number of sn2 reactions will gives the retention of the configuration well, let us check whether it is uh, right or wrong okay now here the leaving group is above the plane so one time sn2 will gives the below the plane another time sn2 so below opposite is above so overall reaction from starting to ending it is a retention of the configuration so now here it is the retention of the configuration retention of the configuration when the soft presence of soft nucleophiles present of soft nucleophiles the stereochemistry will retain the stereochemistry will retain so this is the like a stereochemical aspect in presence of soft nucleophiles now what will happen in presence of like a hard nucleophiles let us discuss the presence of hard nucleophiles okay now the presence of hard nucleophiles is the same chemistry this is the OAC okay now here the palladium will attack the opposite plane of the OAC the OAC here it is the below the plane palladium L2 okay now however the, this palladium will attack over there then it forms the eta 3 complex eta 3 complex with a below the plane stereochemistry below the plane stereochemistry now in previous cases in presence of soft nucleophiles so soft nucleophiles directly attack over the like leaving group position but in case of uh, our hard nucleophiles hard nucleophiles which cannot uh, directly attack over the like uh, electrophilic center of the allylic position but uh, it directly attack the palladium complex it directly attack the palladium metal now here this type of the reaction palladium like l2 here it is the nucleophile so after this so this is the r group this is the x group like uh, the elimination of two groups <laughs> The elimination of two groups. So now here palladium is below the plane. That's why nucleophile attack same plane. Why? Because so nucleophile present over the palladium, palladium which is present in the below the plane. So that's why it produces the like a nucleophile with the below the plane. Why? Because so here it undergoes the reductive elimination. Here it undergoes the reductive elimination. This is the basic thing regarding to the Suji Trost reaction. Okay, in presence of a soft nucleophiles, retention of the configuration. In presence of hard nucleophiles like inversion of the configuration let us check so here in previous cases we will get the above the plane leaving group we will get the above the plane product now here so we will use the like above the plane leaving group but we will get the below the plane of the nucleophile due to the hard nucleophile attack over the like a same palladium metal okay so this is the like a ratio and stereo selectivity of a suji trust reaction ratio and stereo selectivity of a suji trust reaction now let us discuss the some of the like uh, another functionality of Suji Trost reaction. Okay, 
Now in previous cases we will discuss the allylic position of the uh, like a nucleophilic substitution in presence of a palladium catalyst. Okay, we will get the, these type of nucleophiles, these type of products. Now not only the allylic halides, so sometimes uh, the vinyl epoxide are also participated in the like our Susitrus type of reaction. That means uh, so here this type of vinyl epoxides, uh, vinyl epoxides provides. Uh, its own alkoxide bases its own alkoxide nucleophiles are bases its own alkoxide bases so now the based on the like uh, uh, functioning it is classified either whether it is base or nucleophile okay now let us go through the reaction now here the first of all palladium complex will uh, attack over the like uh, our uh, vinyl position now here it is the palladium l2 so these palladium compound will attack over them okay now here it is eliminated here it is eliminated so here it is eta 3 complex l2 here it is the like a o minus like it is a o minus so now here the nucleophile nucleophile with proton whenever the proton containing a nucleophile okay these proton containing nucleophile will abstract the proton from the alkoxide base so now here our alkoxide will abstract the proton then it is called base now here our its own alkoxide base not the nucleophile why because here it abstract the proton okay now here it, it becomes uh, this type of complex uh, palladium here OH okay now the finally the nucleophile attack over there at the ending position of the epoxide ending position of the alkene not the epoxide now we will get the product like this OH here it is the nucleophile so now our palladium complex will eliminate it our palladium complex will eliminate it now how it is possible whenever the nucleophile attack over there this bonded to electron will shifted like this this like a palladium carbon like a pi allylic compound will disappear now here it form, forms like a, our allylic alcohol our allylic alcohol so these type of reactions are also including our suji trust reaction so this is very important reaction which is given in the two times mcsr okay these type of problems okay now let us discuss some of the problems because According to the Suzy Trust reaction. Now let us discuss uh, these uh, these type of uh, like uh, Suzy Trust reactions. Suzy Trust uh, problems. Now here they are given in the like uh, uh, alkene allylic position. They have the like uh, ester functionality. Okay, ester functional groups are also like leaving groups in Suzy Trust reaction. It is the leaving group. Now here it is the nitro compound. So generally the nucleophiles uh, from uh, uh, anions from nitromethane or nitroethane. Okay. Now again phenols, amines, like malonate compounds. So now these anions uh, now here. Uh, uh, here the proton will abstracted from the base now it creates the negative charge Th this negative charge will act as a nucleophile now here it is attacked over there now here it is the compound this is the leaving group position now here the nucleophile is attacked so now here it is the NO2 so that is, that is a COO ethyl COO ethyl very simple reaction okay now these type of nucleophiles will use the like a our suji trust product here it is the kinetic control reaction here it is the kinetic control to the action now let us go through the second problem now here there is no stereochemical aspect whether it is above the plane does uh, below the plane why because it is not a chiral center so now here are uh, now here it creates the compound in case of second compound second uh, example now here OAC here it is the leaving group it is the leaving group that position will fulfilled by the our uh, like our ligand that is uh, our nucleophile R N H R N H R. This is the second reaction. Now in these three examples, we'll uh, we'll deserve uh, various, so much of a stereochemical aspect. Okay. Now here palladium PPH three. Here it is the malonate compound. Here it is the malonate. Now, now it is a C O O ethyl C O O methyl. Here it is the C H two. This is the malonic uh, ester. So now, however, one of the proton will is, which is a uh, which is a, like uh, abstracted by the base, then it uh, then it becomes C H minus with N A plus. So this is the complex over here. This is the nucleophile over here. So these type of nucleophiles will attack over the position. Now here, let us look out at the stereochemistry of uh, Suzy Trust reaction. Now here the compound, it is the leaving group. Undoubtedly it is the leaving group. Okay. Now here the leaving group, our uh, uh, nucleophile is melonate compound. Melonate is soft nucleophile or uh, hard nucleophile. Undoubtedly it is soft nucleophile. Soft nucleophile will, be, will use the retention of the configuration. Soft nucleophile finally will give the retention. Hard nucleophile 
nucleophile will give the uh, inversion of the configuration. Here it is the soft nucleophile. So our leaving group of position is above the plane. It retains their configuration. That means here it is the like a retention of the configuration. That means above the plane like a CH COO methyl COO methyl. Okay, here it is the COO methyl group. COO methyl group. That is the product according to the third one. Now here same case, same the reason, but they are given in the below the plane. Okay, so whatever the plane, it retains the the configuration according to the Sujitros reaction. So generally same type of a product uh, with a uh, like a retention of the configuration. CH COO methyl COO methyl. So this is the third compound. This is the fourth example. Now let us discuss the fifth example. Same compound, the same here the presence of base. Now just I, I would like to change the like leaving group. Now in these uh, like a uh, uh, both are same. I think it, uh, that doesn't change. Okay. So here it is OAC. Here it is OAC. Okay. Now I'll repeat at the question. Now let us go through the um, problem number six. Problem number six. Okay. So here it is the meldrum's acid, which is a meldrum's acid. So these meldrum's acid, uh, which creates, which gives the more stable than uh, like a more stable enolate. It is more stable enolate. Now it, it creates the like a carbanion that act as a nucleophile. Here it attack over the allylic position with the retention of the configuration. So here uh, like a OAC, OAC. Here OAC. Okay. Now here the retention of the configuration. That means above the plane which is occupied by the our compound. O oh, double bond O O group. Uh, now here it is a double bond O. So uh, two carbonyl compound are just, uh, between the two carbonyl compound CH two position is active methylene group. That active methylene group readily gives their proton, then it, uh, it creates the carbonyl. Okay. So those compounds will give the more uh, uh, nucle more soft nucleophilicity of such trust reaction. Now let us discuss some of the other problems. Sir. These are the second types of a Suzy trust. Now in previous cases we will discuss allylic position, allylic halides or allylic leaving group containing. Now here it is vinyl, vinyl epoxides. Okay. Now however the nucleophile will attack over the like uh, alkene position then it becomes uh, like this. It, it is opened. Now here it creates the double bond. Here it is OH. Now here it is the nucleophile which is attack over there. So we have discussed this mechanism in an earlier case. Okay, that's why I don't want to repeat uh, uh, once again the, those mechanisms. Now here, uh, which is 2018 uh, uh, CSR question, very easy question. Okay, now so this is the compound. Now what we need, what we looked out uh, the problems for solving these type of questions. Now they are given in the palladium complex. Palladium means it is a, a one of the catalyzed reaction, one of the coupling reaction. Now here it is palladium undoubtedly, but they are given in the like uh, these type of co compounds uh, COO methyl. COO method. Okay, now the palladium complex with the alkene, that means whenever uh, alkene in presence of palladium complex, we will remember the Hecke coupling reaction. So now here the Hecke coupling requires uh, either organo halides or organo triplets. Here there is no organic halides or triplets. Okay, now here the instead of uh, halides and triplets, we have the allylic position of uh, allylic compounds or vinyl epoxides. We will remember that is not Hecke reaction, it is a Suji trust reaction. Okay, now here the presence of of a, like a base here it creates the melonate compound here it is the melonate ester COO methyl here also COO methyl this melonate uh, uh, nucleophile will attack over the like a uh, uh, allylic so that is uh, sorry vinylic position compound then it creates the uh, like opening of epoxide now here it is the double bond here it is O minus okay now here it attack the upper compound COO methyl COO methyl okay now here it is a triple bond C triple bond. Now in previous cases we will discuss uh, the soft nucleophiles will retention the configuration that means uh, here whatever the plane whatever the plane of epoxy that means here if it is if it is assumed it is above the plane then our nucleophiles will attack the definitely it is above the plane that means it retention the configuration O minus then hydrolyzed it will give uh, OH OH okay so this is the simplest reaction regarding to the our uh, Suji trust so sometimes they are again, again they are given the some other uh, some other additional reactions now here in the presence of osmium tetroxide now it creates the diols from olefin now here it having the olefin again this olefin which having the chelation that means uh, the position of the chelation okay now uh, they are given in the like a uh, uh, certain uh, tamda compounds okay in the presence of tamda it gives the like a uh, same stereochemistry of the chelating group same stereochemistry of the chelating group uh, now this is the like our 
CSIR problem. Okay, if it is possible, I'll make the videos on uh, every CSIR problem regarding to the palladium catalyzed reaction. Now here, uh, this is another reaction regarding to the our like a <coughs> Suji Trost. Here it is the uh, same uh, all, uh, vinyl epoxide. Okay, now here the nucleophile is different. That is the adenine. Okay, now here it is simply it is ADH. Here it is H. This group is called adenine. Okay, now this nucleophile uh, adenine nucleophile will attack over there. Then it creates the O minus. Okay, now here it is the double bond. Here it is the OH. So uh, they are given already in the above the plane chemistry. That means uh, here our adenine group also attack the above the plane. So N. So this is the compound. NH. Okay, it is nitrogen, nitrogen, this is the double bond, NH2. Okay, so this type of compound we will get the uh, by using the Suji Trust reaction. Now let us discuss the final reactions uh, like a chiral reagent, the presence of chiral reagents as well as um, intramolecular Suji Trust reaction. Intramolecular Suji Trost reaction. Okay, now let us solve the uh, another intramolecular reactions of Suji Trost reaction. Okay, now here it is the allylic position. So here it it, it attacks the nucleophile. Uh, definitely here it attacks the nucleophile, but because of the SN2 reaction. Why? Because SN2 reaction will favors the like uh, attack over the leaving group position. Now here the presence of a base or without a base now will abstract the proton from NH. Now it creates the N minus as a nucleophile. So these nucleophile will attack over there, then it creates the like a intramolecular reaction. Intramolecular reaction. Now here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 member ring is formed. 5 member ring is formed. It is phenyl. Here it is the NH group. Here it is the NH group. It is the double bond. Okay. Now these two groups are with the same plane. Now the remaining uh, hiding positions of hydrogen are same plane. So it gives the like our uh, which is nothing but uh, I think I did a mistake over there. Here it creates the our phenyl. Okay. So this is the product. Okay. Now here it gives the like uh, hiding positions with cis stereochemistry so generally the intramolecular reaction uh, will com uh, will competition uh, will form the either the seven member rings it it, uh, it more favors gives the six to five member rings six to five member rings so over than the seven member rings again the reaching position of the like a cyclic a cyclic ring also it is affected now in the in this case of uh, next example now here it, it is the like leaving group okay it may be possible to form the position why because here it is the carbonyl compound that means uh, it is the ester group here it is the carbonyl compound in between them here one proton is there that is called uh, like a active methylene group so now here the active methylene only one proton is present that creates the negative charge so that means here it is the nucleophile so it may be attack over the position then it gives the seven member ring one two three four five six seven so it may be possible to attack the like sn2 prime mechanism here it gives the five member ring so among these two five member is favored than that of the seven member that's why it gives the product like this so five member ring so here it is COO methyl again here it having the C5H11 okay so now here the the nucleophile attack over there the bonded to electron will shift it to like this here O phenyl is eliminated O phenyl is eliminated it gives the this type of compounds okay now again followed by these reactions sodium hydride HMPA hexamethylene phosphoric acid hexamethyl phosphoric acid again some heat will use the like a sodium iodide HMPA will use the carboxylic acid after the heating of a carboxylic acid the elimination of CO2 will get the like a free compound C5H11 here it is the double bond okay so again it is undergoes the like a several types of uh, like a borane reagents will use the like a carbon carbonyl compounds also now let us uh, now here I would like to stop over here okay now let us go through the some of the reaction now here it is the chiral ligand so these type of chiral ligands will use the more and more enantio selective compound more and more enantio selective reaction so the chiral ligand having the below the plane so that definitely our uh, product will attack the like a uh, nucleophile attack the above the plane why because the presence of chiral ligand these ligands uh, will protect the below the plane why because it having the below the plane then nucleophile it, it will attack the above the plane chemistry now here it give it is eliminated it gives the like above the plane of chemistry with a sn2 type reaction only so here above the plane the nucleophile is ch2 that is coo methyl 
like CO1 with chyl. This is the above the plane chemistry. So here chiral ligands will use the 98% of enantiomeric excess. 98% of enantiomeric excess. This is the final one. So here it is the leaving group. Uh, so here uh, alkene, alkene adjacent position allyl. Allyl having the leaving group. That position will uh, like will uh, occupied by the nucleophile. So will give up their corresponding product. So here it is above the plane methyl. Here it is the compound. Okay. Here it is below the plane. Now it creates the our compound that is the COO methyl again SO2 phenyl. SO2 phenyl. These are the very simple examples regarding to the lower, like our Suji trust reaction. So it is very very important reaction for CSIR as well as gate. Uh, gate exams okay don't uh, uh, neglect these reactions so just uh, if you uh, if you're not uh, uh, perfect in one time video then we'll go for the second time also okay so this is very very important reaction regarding to the csir as well as gate thank you for watching